good day to you. Yeah, um, I'm out and about on Buddy. Oh, look at that marvellous bike, wonderful. Um, out and about on Buddy, Triumph T100, and uh, uh, Rob Little asked a, a question in a comment. He said, uh, What's the town with the castle? Well, that made me think. <laughs> I better show you it. So I thought I'd do a little video, just a little phew, extra, I suppose. Don't know when it'll be published. Um, but this is Bury St Edmunds. Yeah, home of uh, uh, the St Edmundsbury Wolf. Yeah, marvellous. Um, home of Green King Brewery, or phew, part of. Um, of course, it's all moving out now. Um, it's a wonderful little town, um, but I thought I'd just show you a little bit. I'll get off the bike and it'll be on foot because I want to go and show you what Rob um, quite rightly thought was a castle. Um, but it's not. So this is our oh, Green King Brewery off to the left and straight ahead and all this building here. And they have a museum as well. Um, for if you're interested in brewing yeah and there's the theatre royal marvellous uh, for pantos and plays and all sorts of stuff um, and so you'll see it as we get in and then pff, I'll get off the foot I'll see if I can find somewhere to park um, but first of all we've got the church then we've got the abbey gardens yeah um, wonderful there you go and there's the abbey um, and there's some ruins and stuff so you might be interested i'll uh, see if i can find somewhere to park uh, sometimes people just park on there um, but i think i'll go on because there is some proper motorbike parking down here yeah but you can park just there if you come on your bike uh, the angel of course you all know from my mutters wonderful um and here yeah i mean you would think it was a castle wouldn't you looking at that um it's got a portcullis and everything um i might be wrong it might well be a castle but looking right now can i fit in there or are there too many motorbikes there Oh, it looks like there's too many motorbikes. I don't think I can fit in. Um, look at that marvellous street twin. Um, and a Ducati and a Honda. So, I'll go find somewhere to park and I'll bring you back later. Wonderful. So what I've done, I've, I've come back to this place where I often see motorcycles parked. and I shall get parked here yeah wonderful right <laughs> right I parked the bike over there um, and here we've got this marvellous tower and in here is what I really want to show you. So we'll get through into the Abbey Gardens. Um, but there you go. The church gate led straight to the Abbey Church, but it doesn't anymore. Um, but in here is St Edmunds. St Edmunds, he was um Anglo-Saxon king. Yeah, back about, oh, about a thousand years AD, 800 years AD, something like that. And everywhere around Bury St Edmunds, you'll see wolves. And what happened to uh, Edmund, St Edmund was, he got killed by the Vikings. Yeah, they reckon they shot enough arrows into him. He looked like a hedgehog, yeah. Then they chopped off his head um, and threw his head away into the forest. But when they came looking for him, um, they found wolves there, yeah, and the wolves were guarding St Edmund's head, yeah, 
and miraculously it reattached itself supposedly yeah wasn't a very big chap was he and there you go yeah um what else i wanted to show you i mean these houses are just wonderful aren't they um there's the abbey just marvelous building um but we'll go this way and we'll come out through the portcullis or what would apparently be a portcullis i don't know So this is the back way in. So I better hold the camera down a little bit otherwise people get a bit. So it's a marvellous place to bring kids for a walk, get some fresh air. There's the port colours, we'll come back to that because I want to go down and show you what's around here. There's a cafe and stuff. Oh, that looks like there's a slide over there as well. You can't see. So here we are. Y you can see why Rob thought it was uh, a bit of a castle because it didn't half look like one didn't it but it's the abbey gate and it was the gateway to the abbey that's inside but i'll show you more about that when we get inside but this one starts from about 1100 something like that first one built there uh, it's been rebuilt a couple of times yeah um uh, this final one was built in the 1300s I think something like that you'd have to check it all out because I don't know do I I mean what do I know yeah the townspeople wrecked it to get to the people that were sheltering inside yeah but we'll have a look as we go through but yeah proper spikes there um, if we go through here oh there's a plaque there Look, Abbeygate destroyed by townspeople in 1327, rebuilt again 20 years later. Oh, thankless task. Yeah, um, what does it say? Oh, roughly what I said. Yeah. Um, but we'll crack on and have a look back in the gardens that I came out of. Um, down here, oh, there's kids and stuff. So better stop filming till we get further down so on a lunch time i can sometimes come down here in summer grab a coffee have a sit down get a bit of peace and tranquility from the madness of work look at the pigeons marvelous um also down here we've got an aviary yeah i'll show you it right so i'm having some camera problems um, here we are, yeah, Canaries, look at that, wonderful, and this is right next to the cafe, Finches, oh look at those, marvellous, if you're a, what do they call it, a Twitter or something, um, I don't know, uh, doesn't look like there's anything in there just yet. more in here i don't know what they are oh love birds where's the love birds wonderful look at them marvelous but do we guys up there Marvellous, don't like to see anything caged personally, myself. 
Um, that one's empty. Don't know what's there. Uh, some flowers and stuff for you to buy. But let's go and have a look at the Abbey ruins. All sorts in here. Um, and they have all sorts of fates and stuff like that through summer. But I'll bring you back. Oh, here we are. So there's all sorts of bits. It's, oh, it is obviously a really big place. So the wall goes over there. And so it is sort of like a fort, but it was just the abbey. Yeah. Look at that. These old buildings. Wrecked, finally. Um, bet you can guess who did it. Yeah, Henry VIII. Of course he did. More of it over here. There's probably plaques telling you which each bit was. But I don't have time. This is only going to supposed to be a quick video. Just to entice you to come to Bury St Edmunds. Yeah, what a great ride out. Loads of decent calves in, in the town. Um, yeah. It looks like they've got a model up here. Got a kid's plane on it. I'm guessing this was the main part of it. But let's have a little look over here at this model. Right, here we are at the model. Yeah, I've had to wait forever for this to be quiet. You can see where we are, which would be round about there somewhere yeah um that is the abbey gate that i showed you earlier i mean it must have just been absolutely massive so the bit that's left is that yellow bit that's that absolutely incredible yeah i wonder if i can get the camera down and it, you can see through the to the Abbey Gate. Oh, you, yeah, there you go. That's what it'd be like. That's where we walked through there into this bit. And all this is destroyed and just ruins now. But isn't that wonderful that they've made that? And now we've got the little church that's left. I can't even see that on here, so it must have been built after that. I don't know. Um, but let's go and have a look. background here see if we can get out this way what a marvellous place to play as a kid hey wonderful back through here and back at what everyone now calls the abbey but of course it's the church wonderful And it does look like a fort when you see it like that, doesn't it? Just wonderful. Anyway, I thought you'd just like to have a little look in here. Cloisters. Do you reckon this was the cloisters here? I do. Yeah, it was the cloister. Look at that. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Right, I'm going to get back on the bike, yeah. So can we get through here? Oh, Remembrance Garden by the looks. Here. 
kind of built into the walls is interesting. It's wonderful. Yeah, so get yourself along and have a look. Um, there's obviously a lot more. There's one church, and I guess this is the replacement abbey. Yeah, wonderful. So we'll say goodbye to St Edmunds. <laughs> And now we'll catch you back on the bike. Right, here we are back on board. <laughs> Right, let's get gone. Yeah, I'm gonna get onto here. Bump. Bump. So, um, a little glimpse of what Rob thought was a fork, quite rightly, because when you look at it, even the model, you go, crikey, that's a fork. Yeah. I, know, I guess in a way it sort of was um, but there you go oh, I hope you've enjoyed a little look at that um, you will see a wolf on the roundabout and I might do a circle round the roundabout before I say goodbye but Bury St Edmunds lots to see and do Yeah, and I don't work for the tourist industry yeah um, but certainly a nice ride out as well where, whichever direction you're coming from um, right so um, all around Bury like I say you'll see wolves and here there's a marvellous one and when the rugby are playing they put a rugby scarf on it yeah marvellous it's just there look just so you can have a look at it marvellous with the head of uh, St Edmund there, it's guarding it. How interesting is that? I never noticed the head before, isn't that funny? Yeah, but there you go. The wolf guarding St Edmund's Bury's head. Marvellous. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, that's it, that's all I've got for you in this short, hopefully short, don't know how long it will be of course till I edit it down and get rid of all the dross I know some of you are saying well that'll limit it right down <laughs> um, marvellous naughty boy on a KTM have a fantastic uh, day and I will catch you in another mutter ta-ta